Good day. I'm Dr. Jose Victor Torres. I'm a professor of the History Department of the De La Salle University, Manila, here to bring to you today some knowledge about Philippine journalism through the years, especially during the uh, modern times. Okay? So whenever we talk about Philippine journalism, no, uh, it is something that is usually related to um, newspapers at first. But then eventually, the topic would grow, would grow and could become bigger, would include the, the media, so TV, radio, and especially now today, the internet. So how did these things develop? How did it eventually become part you know, of our uh, history? And as you know today, news from the newspapers and from the different media has become an important part in forming Philippine society. So the title of my lecture will be the Philippine Press in an Era of Modern, Modern Change. We will be looking now, now at some of the innovations that happened now in, the, in the period, well, basically it's after World War II, but also today in the, in the era of the internet. And so how do we start? There were three modern innovations that greatly improved in journalism today. One, the computer that replaced the typewriter. Second, a faster printing press. And third, the internet. So let's look at the first topic first. Yeah, from typewriter to computers. The news used to be uh, typewritten. Okay, so you have the manual typewriter there, no? And uh, the, one of the sweetest sounds of a newsroom is the click clacking of uh, the, the typewriter on newsprint as each and every reporter during those time would type the news. I know about this because I used to be a reporter before and I was from the era of uh, Typewriting the news. So, um, typewriting the news. So once you arrive at the office, you look at your notes and start typing. The, um, the paper used to be a rolled up piece of newsprint attached to the manual typewriter. The typewriter enter news. So the basic standard format is um, one, um, one line, one paragraph. Then once you finish it, you take it out of the typewriter, you give it to the editor and the editor will now start red penciling it. Or they would start um, retyping the uh, story. Okay, so uh, that, that was the uh, way news was written before. And, and uh, woe to the news writer if the editor returns his, uh, his uh, news, uh, new, news print to him and the uh, entire text um, is marked with a red, um, fountain, red fountain pen or a red Crayola. No? But it, you learn how to write from your mistakes. Okay? So once the newsprint has been edited, it is now forwarded, of course, to the uh, printing press. And from there, no, the second uh, stage, which I will discuss later. After the era of the typewriter came the computer. Okay, now, we're talking about two types of computers here. One, the computer that is usually carried around by a journalist. So from the heavy, uh, heavy laptop before to the much lighter notebook, so sometimes to the, to already to the tablet, journalists now are, um, can immediately type the news and because of the internet can immediately send the news stories. Okay. But when the era of the computer in, in the newspaper began, it was such a big headache. Well, because sometimes it's so hard to send your news story if you do not have internet. Another problem you know, that happened in my case, when uh, I used to work with the Manila Bulletin, and uh, it was the era of the uh, the era of uh, using computers now in the newsroom. 
the the method was you type your new story then you just press send and the, in your desk it will go to the editorial desk then from the editorial desk press what usually happens at the initial start was that if there was a power fluctuation you would lose your entire story while you are typing it but eventually uh, innovations improved and uh, today it is so uh, no, it is um, quite fast now you know, to type the new story and immediately send it to the printing press now innovations also made the process from writing the news to running the newspaper in the print rollers easier and faster so instead of uh, the method before now was to type the news and the news print the new sheet is now given to the um the uh, printer the printer now would start um um typing not the the mold of uh, the words of the from the of the story then the mold now will be uh, processed it is it is uh, called the um the hot uh, hot lead you know process the hot metal method and it is now placed in a mold the mold is an entire sheet of paper and from there you no know, the um the um mold is now is now placed you no know, in the print uh, in, the, in the rollers for the paper to be printed today iba na no once you um you write the news you type it out okay then the the <clears throat> the entire text no is uh made now by a photo photo type setting method then from the top photo type uh, setting method the uh, mold now is made by combining all of this um, photo type set into one single sheet of newspaper and from there a negative is now produced and from that negative it's attached to the roller and from there the newspaper is printed out so everything became faster and new uh, printers no? not only created faster publication of newspapers, it printed now also newspapers in bigger volumes. Because at that time, no, even, before, uh, even before, before the age of the internet, everyone wanted to know the news. Almost everyone wanted to know information. But this would eventually change with the coming of the internet. Yeah. Okay. The internet and the mass availability of data, not only to newsmen, but also to the ordinary reader, totally changed the face of journalism. That is a journalist. You know, you know, you know who the journalist is. He's the reporter. He's the editor of a newspaper. He's the audit editor of a TV station. They were the ones making. They were the ones gathering the news and transmitting the news to an audience. But this face eventually changed with the arrival now of the internet. It would also change totally. The concept of a free press. What were the changes that happened? For one thing, the journalist or the press is no longer the single purveyor of information. Hindi na sila yung nagbibigay ng information na lang. Tate, in order to rely on the news, you go on TV, you go, uh, you look at the TV, you listen to the radio read the newspaper, so on and so forth. Okay. And you have to pause somewhere to look at it. You have to pause to listen to the radio. You have to uh, sit down and watch the TV. You have to sit down and uh, have your coffee and read the newspaper. With the advent of the internet, 
one could simply do it by walking and looking at their smartphones, looking at their tablets, looking at the uh, any gadget that is probably invented nowadays, now, and where you can simply access the news. Everyone with the arrival of the internet had access to information. Simply, life became simpler. But it brought about the new phase of journalism. For one thing, the newspaper disappeared, almost disappeared. Because now, because of uh, immediate accessibility, one doesn't have to buy a newspaper anymore. One simply has to open their smartphone, look at the uh, website of the uh, newspaper publishing house, then click on that, then you have the newspaper of the day. What is more important for this kind of technology nowadays is that the news is immediately updated. Sometimes within a matter of seconds, not minutes, seconds. No? In a matter of seconds, the news that you have read 10 seconds earlier will probably have already changed 10 seconds later. So, the role, the role of the journalist who grew from being a gatekeeper, meaning the one who sources and writes the news. Trabaho lang yung dati ng reporter. Trabaho lang ng journalist. No? Their simple task now is to gather and um, spread the news. But because of the internet now, everyone can spread the news. It is this accessibility that created the role of the citizen journalist. Okay. Someone, no? Someone who can easily make news, post it on the internet, no? Or sometimes can monitor something, then post it on the internet. And he is now recognized, no? A, uh, as a writer of news. Not exactly a reporter, not exactly a journalist, but a writer of news. For example, bloggers. Bloggers who write reviews, bloggers who, um, who uh, create um, uh, feature articles, bloggers who sometimes arrive at the scene no, earlier than reporters when, whenever a news event happens and can immediately broadcast on the internet, on so, sometimes on social media, the news. Take for example, how many camera angles can you have of a single event, especially a big event? No, look at the look at the video of the um, the uh, soldier who was shot by the police during the pandemic, the one who had a uh, mental problem. How many angles of the camera that you have there? Everything was taken from a cell phone. So sometimes. People, uh, the media, especially uh, the television, can simply just uh, access this, you know, access these videos, and spread it further by showing it on screen. But but by that time it has uh, it has already been spread. Everyone has seen it. So the role from the gatekeeper, you no. Know, to, uh, of the journalist was eventually uh, transformed. He now shares it with the blogger or the citizen journalist. However, one of the big differences is that the blogger or the citizen journalist can write a, like a reporter. He can write like a journalist. Simply, sometimes uh, the, these uh, bloggers are really good writers. But as mentioned here, they do not possess the required ethics and rules of journalism. So, next one. The new journalist is no longer deciding what the public should know. This is uh, actually, um, again, the result of the accessibility of information by, um, by the ordinary citizen. 
everyone suddenly knows the entire story. Everyone suddenly knows what kind of story. Everyone knows even what was true, uh, even what is true and what is false. In short, everything now has been left for the audience to decide what is true and what is not. So what's the job of the journalist now? The job of the journalist is to, no, as mentioned here, to work with the audience and the technology to make the order, order out of it or take action on it. So, hindi pala wawala yung role ng journalist dito. He still has the responsibility no, of making something out of the news. Because one of the things that cannot be removed from journalism is that it is the purveyor of truth. But there are now three contributions to the, to, to the uh, new journalism. One, the machine, the gadget. And second, the end user, the citizen. Then, of course, the journalist. If you want to make a chart out of it, no? Uh, it would be the machine citizen, news on one end, journalist in the middle. Because the job of the journalist in the new methods now does not immediately end. So his new roles are, no, you notice, biglang dumami. Hindi na siya gatekeeper lang. For one thing, authenticator. It is still the job of the journalist to know the fact. It is still the job of the journalist to give the fact. It is still the job of the journalist to screen the fact. His next role is the sense speaker. Videos and pictures can lie. It can lie in a sense no, because it doesn't sometimes show the entire story. I will tell you of an incident no, that I uh, experienced or saw personally more than, more than a decade ago. There was a big rally here and um, the TV networks were, um, were covering the news and everything. It was a bunch of student activists no, rallying on the streets. No? Then um, there was a commotion on one part of the, uh, um, the rally. And the, the TV network runs to the, runs to the scene and captures on film now. So one of the police, uh, police officers was holding one of the activists. And it was very visible on camera. Their, their team leader was punching the hell out of the activist. It was caught on tape. It was caught on video. So, what was the story? Police brutality. Okay. However, it seems that unless you interviewed witnesses of the scene, a different story will come out. Okay. What happened pala was the activist was caught, was arrested by the police, and while they were uh, arresting him, he swung his uh, fist and caught the team leader in the face. The team leader reacted and threw a couple of punches at the activist. Sino may kasalanan? People were, uh, some of uh, people were saying, hey, the, the, the officer should have uh, kept his uh, cool and uh, did not react like that. Well, that was the heat of the moment. Pag sinapak ka, Ano gagawin mo? Gagawin ka. Okay. The other news, the other, uh, the other roles of the journalist, he has to bear witness. He has to be an active observer. Active meaning sometimes he has to be there and not rely on simple, ay, sila binigal ito, sila binigal ito. Fourth kind of role, watchdog. But sometimes this uh, role of a journalist as a watchdog has been uh, abused also by the media. You know? To the point na 
a lot of uh, Filipinos now rely on the media to correct anomalies. But media can only do so much. So, sometimes, in this, uh, unfortunately, not timing lang na ito, na mga offenders, eh. they knew that once the camera is off there, ano, hindi na sila nakatutok ng camera sa kanila, they will still continue what they're doing. Oh, uh, how many, how many court cases were, uh, were shown showing uh, the guilty party being declared guilty? No, but how many are shown the guilty party eventually being absolved of the crime and released from prison? Okay, fifth role of the journalist the intelligent aggregator, meaning it is up to the journalist to sort out what is the best. And I think this is the, where objectivity comes in. No? That, that the uh, journalist must carefully look at each and every account of sometimes the same incident and see what is believable. The forum leader, no? organizing news for public discussion, uh, not everything is news, not even personal lives are news. That's why we have to be very careful with regards to some things because social media, when it becomes part of the news circle of news, becomes abusive. The journalist's role as an empowerer that gives accurate information it becomes a role model that the journalist should show how honest he is in gathering facts. Because as a role model, he becomes a community builder, giving the audience through the press the best account of what is happening around him. Censorship. One of the problems today, even, even before, and that was, was uh, the case of uh, censorship. Dictatorships, bad governments, the oppressive governments always make it a point to suppress the free press. And they do it by censorship. You know, preventing news items to be uh, published, you know, videos that, are, that can be detrimental to the government are not uh, uh, shown. But the era of uh, modern technology has changed also the face of censorship. For one thing, news are always suppressed, but it was done now in a different way. How are the governments, uh, how do governments suppress the press? They don't use censorship now, they do not block, or they do not prevent, they do not. Um, destroy the um, things that are supposed to be shown to the public. Using the new technologies mentioned here, now according to the elements of journalism, government uses more and more tools to subvert the press by creating their own reality. So what are these tools? They create pseudo-journalism in the, for the form of a uh, false news websites, video news releases that are not actually true. They hire, quote unquote, media personalities who are not actually sometimes qualified to become a media personality, willing to accept money to promote policy and so on and so forth. As early as 2014, the uh, authors of the elements of journalism were already pointing to a certain phenomena that was happening because of social media and the internet. It was what they call for news. Today, the terminology is fake news. Where the, um, the government now no, would try to create the news by creating a different reality from what the people know, from what the people see on TV. And sometimes this reality, unfortunately, is believed. 
therefore creating now no a form of censorship by supplanting the actual truth how to prevent this we have to be careful we have to research but to use the uh, to use the uh, motto of a uh, TV network before think before you click because one of the worst things it can actually destroy the civility of man and the truth of a freedom of the, the truth of the freedom of the press is a simple lie modern technology today has given us all that the information that can be obtained which is a click of a button it transformed the journalist into a vigilant guardian of the news and it also transformed now the ordinary citizen into someone you know, who should always be careful in knowing things you know, that are supposed to be good for their own society okay. if you want to know more about the history of philippine journalism kindly go to a shop.vibalgroup.com where you, know, you can buy my book on the history of philippine journalism this is a translation of a 19th century work by Wenceslao Retana. the title is el periodismo filipino or philippine journalism this is jose victor torres de la salle university wishing you a good day and hope that you have learned something from philippine journalism in the era of modern innovations. Maraming salamat po at magandang araw.